So what's going on YouTube? It's JeffMan316, your pop culture reporter. Welcome back to the JeffMan316 Customs YouTube channel. Welcome back to what's going to be another toy review and unboxing video. And in this video, we're going to take a look at one of the latest um, Masters of the WWE Universe figures. The Macho Man Randy Savage, dig it! Um, I've actually tried to make a custom of this similar to this figure in the past. Um, I think I've still got one that's on display in my collection. And then we can com compare that once we open this up and check it out. I'll let you know the other figures in the series also. So before we get over to the toy table and crack this bad boy open, do me a favor. Like this video. Dig it. After you do that, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, my man. Please do that if you can. Dig it. And then after you do that, make sure you hit the notification bell because you'll be the first to know when I post new videos. So that's me, you, and the Macho Man. Get over to the toy table, open this up together. Let's go if you dig it. So what's going on YouTube? Like I said, we're going to unbox this uh, Masters of the WWE Universe Macho Man Randy Savage figure today. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging first. It's got the standard Masters of the WWE Universe at the top. It says Macho Man Randy Savage. There's the figure. We won't get too deep into that. Um, I'll show you the custom one that I made. Um, we can compare them. It says highly articulated for power posing. You can see it's got the comic in the back. Here's the back cover. Um, this was cut, which is why I'm opening like the box cutter knife from the store. As you can see it's got Macho on the crown. It's got the rock there, got um, Jake the Snake. So arm with Macho Mace, and then twist into powerful positions. And then the other ones in this set are Becky Lynch, Macho Man Randy Savage, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and Rowdy Roddy Piper. So let's crack this bad boy open together and take a look. All right, YouTube, so as we do first with most of these, let's check out the comic book together. Um, I hope you had better luck than I did because mine was actually glued to the bottom of the card, so I ripped some of my comic book at the bottom, but it's only on the outside, so that's the front. It's got, you know, John Cena, the faker version, uh, Jake the Snake, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and Macho Man. So let's open it up. And look, it's actually glued together where I'm having to rip it apart. So no, other pages are going to get damaged. Whoever decided to package it this way is hot garbage. So the Horde World Order is what it says over there. There's Macho Man giving the two sweet signs. It'd be cool if his hands really did that. It says um, the following... Announcement has been paid for by the HWO, the Horde World Order, and it's got a page, you know, where Macho Man is, uh, looks like he's pouring, I'm not going to read it, slime onto the old Macho Man, and then this is the new HWO version. So if it's like all the other ones, you're going to get a different comic with each of the figures, so that's kind of cool, and there's the four in the set. So let's take a look at the Macho Man, and uh, here's the figure, um, if you can tell. Um, he's got a grimace on there. I think it might be the same head scan as the other one. I'm not sure, but um, the top of his uh, this comes off. So that says madness. Obviously, um, I think his glasses are made onto the figure, so you can't take those off, which is okay. Um, I think this armor can come off. And then it's got the Horde armband on there. That's kind of cool. And it's got his classic, you know, white side with black stars and black side with white stars. And then he's got white boots. If it's like most of them, the figure comes apart at the main joints, the arms, the waist. So um, we might take a look, take a look at this uh, with the armor off. If it's like most of them, we're going to have to pop it at the top. No, look, it looks like this one pops on the back. So maybe it'd be easier. So let's see about this figure, let's about getting the armor off. So what I did was I popped the head off and was able to pull it off easily that way. So then you can just pop the head right back on there. And then pop his waist back. So there's what he looks like without the armor on. So 
And then you get the mace, which they mention on the packaging. And then I, and then you get these uh, leg bands, which I'm, I'm not gonna put them on there, but I'll put them over top so you can kind of see what they're gonna look like. But you get the idea, this is the way it's gonna look. So what do you think? Uh, that's the figure with the madness. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the custom that I made six months ago prior to knowing that that was even gonna come out. And here's the one that I made. And let me know what you think. Okay, so what I did that was similar is I put a decal on the front of his shirt, which basically matches the decal on the, on the original one that just came out. And so I put some uh, gloves on my hands and his, his hands don't have gloves. I made this NWO gauntlet type hand. I painted those and I put the NWO letters on there. So it slides over a fist. Both of those hands on the original are open. And then I put this like loincloth thing that came off of a Lex Luger figure and then I painted the lightning bolts on there. I think the lightning bolts look damn better than the stars. I mean, I, I don't know what you guys think. And then I put these, these are really knee pads for an elite figure and I put them on there like boot coverings and I gave him black boots. So let me know what you think. Do you like mine or do you like the one that was released or which parts do you like of one or the other? So here are the two figures together. So my custom versus the original that just came out of the package. What do you think? Which weapon you like best? Which figure you like best? Um, I could probably go ahead and put those shit. I'm fairly certain. I'm fairly certain that I could put the uh, lines, like the teeth or whatever they are, on his glasses. So, other than that, what do you think? Which one of these figures do you like the best, or do you think that I did a good job on mine? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, like this video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And then, after you subscribe, please make sure you hit the notification bell, and you'll be the no first to know when I post new toy unboxing videos. So, both of these macho men say. Um, this is Jeff Man 316 your pop culture reporter signing out saying you guys be safe out there. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Oh yeah! Battle of the Diggits. <laughs>